And see, this is the thing, like with the DoorDash app, everything else on my phone is working appropriately. I'm not having a, I'm not having a problem with anything else, only the DoorDash app. Hey everybody, I'm back in the car and back on a dash. It's Saturday, April 6th, and I have accepted my first order. It's a Chipotle order, $7 for three miles. We're on our way to pick that up right now. I did decline a bunch of orders on Uber Eats and DoorDash. As usual, when you turn on the apps, they just start flooding you with a bunch of bad orders. And so those were all declined, and I'll put them on the screen. Um, I'm going to be, it's, it's 1246 right now, so I'm starting later than I wanted to. I feel like I say that almost every video. But, um, yeah, I'm starting later than I wanted to. There's a problem with the elevator at our building that I was trying to help with, and I was just trying to get editing done and stuff like that, so. But I'm going to be out here for a full shift today as long as the orders stay steady. If I go a long time without getting an order, then I'm going to take a break and go home and um, do some editing at home and be with the kids and then I'll come back out, um, you know, more towards dinner time. But my goal for this weekend is going to be $300. So if I can do $150 each day, that'll be good. So we're going to say today's goal is $150. And again, I'm only taking orders that are $2 per mile or you know close enough to two dollars per mile if it's like if it's like you know 1146 you know for six miles I mean that's close you know what I'm saying that's close and if it's an an order I'm okay with if it's an order I'm not okay with then I'll use that as an excuse not to take it I um made breakfast I made breakfast of course I made breakfast I made bacon um, for breakfast this morning as part of breakfast and I feel like I smell like bacon I took a shower like after cooking the bacon and I have like you know clean clothes on after cooking the bacon <laughs> I still feel like like I just smell like bacon so there's that Fifty cents, five point one miles for call. Coffee, not taking that. Let me set you down a second. Speed hump. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Three dollars fifty-eight cents, two point four miles for Starbucks. Not taking that. And three dollars fifty-two cents, six point eight miles for Little Caesars. Let me just stop for a second, okay? What's this one? $5.25, five miles Chick-fil-A. Is that the one I just said? Wasn't it like the same shit? $8.88, 9.3 miles for Chipotle. Declining that one. And this one is $2.42. No. $6.25, 12.8 miles for Dash Mart. Why would you expect anyone to drive 12 miles? $2.50, 4.6 miles for Dairy Queen. No. Why would you expect anyone to drive six or 12 miles for $6? Come on now. $6.25 for Dash Mart. 6.3 miles, not taking it. I'm never gonna get to turn out of this road here. $4. 4.4 miles for Buffalo Wild Wings, not taking it. $7, 4.1 miles for five guys, not taking it. Woo, 6.50, 2.7 miles for Chick-fil-A, I'm taking it. Head southeast. Head southeast, what the hell are you talking about? Look what it's, what it looks, look what it's saying, like, you see where I am and where the ping is, okay? It's telling me I'm six minutes away from the Chick-fil-A. I'm like at the Chick-fil-A. Hi, Brianna. Yeah. Thank you. This drop-off is to a business and she just wants me to leave it at the Gilbert. Gilbert. 
bro. That stayed six fifty. This one is five dollars. Four miles from McDonald's. Not taking that. Let me turn the oobs back on. Also, another Chick Fil A. Four dollars. Four point five miles. No. Oh, now it's gonna start this crap again with the red buffering circle. Like. I uninstalled and reinstalled the app yesterday in the hopes that it wouldn't start doing this crap again. So let me see, nope, still doing it, so I don't know why it's doing this. Um, I'm going to go to my settings, I'm going to go to apps, and I'm going to go to the Dasher app. And I'm gonna scroll down to, let me see, storage, is that what I'm looking for? Yes, so I am going to clear the cache. Okay, and I'm going to clear the data. We tried to send you a delivery, but it didn't reach your phone. Try checking your connection. Open. And see, this is the thing, like with the DoorDash app. Everything else on my phone is working appropriately. I'm not having a, I'm not having a problem with anything else. Only the DoorDash app. It's always the DoorDash app. Okay, so I have yesterday uninstalled and reinstalled Right now, I have cleared the cache and the data for the Dasher app. Let's see if we continue to have problems. Four dollars, 10.7 miles Ooh, for Chick-fil-A. We tried to send you a delivery, but it didn't reach your phone. Seven dollars, 75 cents, 7.3 miles for Chick-fil-A. No. Seven dollars, 27 cents, 2.8 miles for Pizza Hut. I will accept that one. Hello. Hi. Pleasant. Yeah, I've got John Mack for DoorDash. There you go. Make sure oh. you're out strap, otherwise it'll flip over. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm going to staple it to the bag. I love how this Pizza Hut treats you like an idiot. Like, first of all, like, take a photo of the bag. Oh my God. <sighs> so like, dude hands me the bag and he says, hold it by both straps or it'll flip over. Like who's gonna, who's gonna only grab one strap, honestly? Another Pizza Hut, $7.50, um, 3.5 miles. Accepting. Hello. Hi. Uh, Melissa Harrington for DoorDash. Yes. Yeah. I'm supposed to exchange your bags, okay? Um, Otherwise, the facilities run out. Yeah, you can have, I don't need, I don't need it. Well, it needs to be in a bag for my I have bags in okay. my car. Here. Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, you're going to need the receipt and all that attached to the bag. The, why, uh, why does it need to be attached to the bag? Well, no, I'm saying it was attached to the bag. Right. Um, just letting you know it was attached to the bag. There's that. There's also the gate code on there. Okay. Thank you. Is the gate open open or did somebody just open it? Oh, it's open open. Hey, hey, hey. But guess what? The code is already in the app. 
The code is in the app. Guess I don't need it on the receipt. Oh my God. All right, let's see. Ended. Oh no. Oh no, I don't want to earn my time. What the hell? 3 p.m. Five dollars seventy-five cents, three point eight miles for Best Buy to shop for one item. No. Nine dollars nine cents, one point nine miles. It's for Auntie Anne's though. But that is such a good ratio. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. And um, I don't even know what the DoorDash one is. $5.50, 3.3 3 miles. Yep, declining that one, taking the Auntie Anne's. was the second one I accepted I'm doing kind of a uh, trying to keep you know move, moving moving things around trying to keep the cold things cold and the hot things hot you know what I'm talking about all right this next drop off is five minutes away that dog wasn't <laughs> That dog wasn't, wasn't playing. He wanted to come through the window and get me. Okay, so my dash ended because it only let me go to three. And why does it keep going to this? All right, dash now. Oh, it's giving me all the times. Okay, I'm gonna put till eight. It is 3.09 right now. All right, both are on. $3.52, 6.2 .2 miles for the crappy crab. I don't think so. All right, trip radar, $5.41, um, 3.8 miles, so that's a no. What's Torchies? $5.50, 7.4 miles, and that's a no also. $7, 1.3 miles, 14 items for Winn-Dixie. That ain't happening. $6.00 two miles for Dash Mart and that's cool because I'm actually in the parking lot where Dash Mart is. <sighs> I'm gonna accept that one because the other one's only five. Welcome to Dash Mart. Thank you for thank you so much. just gonna park in these um, spots that are for the to-go parking and then run it up to the door over here I think Head she might northwest. be coming out your destination is on the left is she coming out the is customer requested you hand them the order I know is that her they added the following instructions hand it to me I can grab it from you at the door
$11.38, one unit, 2.5 miles for ABC. Yep. Check this out. So, you know, I scheduled, you saw me schedule till 8, right? It says, Dash has ended. Please close this view and refresh when I'm trying to pause the orders. Dash has ended, but it's not ended. You can see it right here. Buffering, 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 wasting my time. Come on. All right, pause orders. There we go. Need a door. Duh. These are the best kind of orders where it's like that's like an eleven dollar order, you're just shopping for one item and it's like a five minute drop off. I mean, that is just awesome. I'll be right back. See, told you I'd be back. I'm trying to match. Oh, I matched. It was 922 uh, for three miles. It's ABC liquor. Oh, this is 650, two and a half miles for five guys. The ABC liquor was shopping for four items. I think I'm going to take the five guys instead. Um, cause that's less work for me. <laughs> eight cents four miles for J Buffalo wings I am trying to match that and I matched it okay so I need to turn around though pause we're gonna add the 808 plus 808 that brings us to eighty dollars and eighty eight cents so how much do we still need to make 150? We need 70. We need $70 after this order and it is 441. Do you think we can do it? Okay. Your beverage. All right, perfect, thank you. You too. Thank is for 6.5 miles for a Wawa. I don't want that. $5, one mile for um, trying to walk. I'll accept that one. All right. Thank you so much. Fifty cents, two point five miles for uh, Scylla Thai and sushi. I'm gonna take it. Oh, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Head east toward 49th. 
It wasn't ready when I went in there, so I asked if I could use the restroom, and I went into the restroom, and they've got the cutest little restroom. Cutest little restroom and like aromatherapy hand soap. So cute. All right, this drop off is five minutes away. $9.75 is for Party City. It's for shop at Party City for 10 items, seven miles. That is a giant, big, giant no. After six minutes of declining orders, $7.3.2 miles. For the Chick fil A, I'm accepting that one. I'm eating pretzels, by the way. 639, 3.8 for Chick fil A on the trip radar. Um, that one's not bad either, but this one's better. <clears throat> and so let's add it plus seven. We're at $99.73. We need $50.27. I have Carson from Cynthia. Thank you. Seven dollars twenty-five cents, three point seven miles for McDonald's. I'm accepting that. Thank you. $44, $44, we just need $44, y'all. $612, we need $44. Both apps are on. What is that doing on? How long has that been on? I must have accidentally hit it one of the times. How, do, how would I hit? How would I hit it? $8.58, one unit, 7.2 miles. Somebody took that. What? 3.50, 2.7 miles for Chick fil -A. No. Now down to 17. Boy. $3 for 0.5 miles for Starbucks. $6.66. For 3.9 miles for Firehouse Subs. That's not exactly... That should be closer to 8. I'm going to go ahead and take it. Just because it's going right to Treasure Island. So, it's not bad. I can get back real fast. I'm going to pause the dash. Okay. I accepted a $12.06 ABC um, order, 3.3 miles, and two items. That brings us to $125.70. <sighs> Do you guys have um do you guys have any more of the the high noon sun sips twelve pack? We have them cleaned out. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I don't have any twelve packs at all anywhere. Alright, we'll take the eight pack then. Hey, I accepted a uh, Fortunato's $11.30 30, 
six cents, 5.5 miles. That brings us to 137.06 and it is 6.55. <sighs> This is my longest drive today. It's 12 minutes away. 12 minutes, let's hurry up. We just need $13. It's 7.15, we need $13. We can do it, y'all, we can do it. 12.50, but it's for 12.2 miles, no. 12.52, two orders, 9.8 miles, no. No! $11.19, 7.9 miles for glory days, no. I'm holding out, y'all. I'm holding out for that $2 per mile. My acceptance rates are gonna be so bad because there's so many bad orders. Oh my god. I'm wondering if I see the thing is, let's say if I was like, hey, I'm gonna 927, 6.7 miles, Papa John's now. If I was to be like, hey, I'm gonna get my acceptance rate up to 50%, you know, I'm gonna do earn by time, I'm gonna get myself up to 50%, $5, $0.06, eight miles for the chick I know. It doesn't matter if I do that because I get to 50% and then go back to $9.90, 7.2 miles for Kobe's now, go back to accepting like only good orders and then the acceptance rate would just immediately plummet again. So what's the point? You know? Right, here's a good one, 1408, two orders, 14, or 4.2 miles, I'm taking it. Okay, I'm picking up for Rayana. Okay. Okie dokie pokey. All right, verifying this order. Second drop off. Head to your pickup at CD City Roma Restaurant, St. Petersburg. This says Menorah Manor though. Is this 255? It is 255. I think she's coming out right now. Turn left on 59th Street North, then turn right on Burlington Avenue North. I must turn around, do no momento. And so this one is four minutes from here. And then we're done, man. Then we'll be done. Isn't that exciting? Hey everybody, it's time for the outro. So on Uber Eats, we are still, let me refresh it again just to be sure. Yep, we are still waiting on the last two deliveries, the tips for those last two deliveries, the Fortunatos and um, the one with Charlie's Cheesesteaks and CD Roma. So you can see right there. Can you see it? We are waiting on those two, so this number is not correct. But so far on Uber Eats, we have $66.99. That was for 10 trips. 10 trips everybody and then on DoorDash um they they changed it like it used to be that like the newest things were on top 
and it switched it. So like April 2nd is on top and then April 6th is down here. I don't like that. But anyways, so there were uh, two dashes today, one for $28.27 and one for $39.60 there on the bottom, Saturday, April 6th. And so if we add those two together, so far we have $134.86. Um, I should come to, if the tips stay the same, it should come to you about $151 when they come in. Anyways, um, I was out from 12.45 until 7.45, but I did take a 15 minute break. So that is six hours and 45 minutes, which is 6.75 hours. So if we divide this by 6.75, that gives us $19.97. But again, we still are waiting on two tips. And so that will go up and I will update that on the screen when those come in. Um, for miles today, I started at 24,512, ended at 24,585. That is 73 miles. 73 miles for the day and um, I did get gas today it cost me $40 and 18 cents three dollars and 32 cents per gallon right now um, what else what else can I tell you oh I can tell you the acceptance rates I didn't tell you that let me go on and look at them on door dash whew, my acceptance rate is 14 isn't that a pity that's a pity. Oh, and I have a new rating. Uh, apparently another five star, but that one star is still there. And then on Uber Eats, let's see, refresh it again. Did it refresh? Did it come in? Not yet. Oh, dang it. I hit the wrong thing. 18% uh, acceptance rate on Uber Eats. Listen to my stomach. Um, wow, my acceptance rates are low. Low, 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 low. But you know what? You know, I made... Oh, here comes $10, uh, 10 cent tip. What did I accept that Fortunato's for? Uh, let's find out. I don't remember. Okay, let me see it. So the Fortunato is $13.42. Uh, oh, so it was $11.32 was what I accepted it for, and I received $13.42. Took me 19 minutes and 40 seconds to do that order. Very nice. Okay, so we're just waiting on one tip. Waiting on one tip. I'll go ahead and show you that other tip that came in right there. And, of course, I'll update it uh, on the screen when everything has come in. You know, I mean, here's the thing. Um, the acceptance the acceptance rates are bad, but... <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean, like, I want to take... I want to take good orders. I don't want to take bad orders. I don't want to take bad orders, and I don't feel like I should have to take bad orders. I don't feel like any of us should have to take bad orders. I feel like we should... We should take the orders that we feel comfortable taking, and we should not be penalized for that. Listen, I appreciate you. I do, y'all. Y'all are the best. Y'all are the best, and I'm lucky to have you. Please hug yourself for me, pat yourself on the back, high five yourself, because you're awesome. And I'm going home. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you tomorrow on Sunday for the next one. Ciao, ciao.